Hello, it's me again. I just uploaded a video um, about uh, Lolly and Lala starting homeschool tomorrow. Well, today it's 2 a.m. And then I was going to come back and tell you all about this horrible thing that happened um, Thursday with my one of my family members and I decided not to. I actually had uploaded the video and I took it down because I don't know. But I was telling my baby, I am tired. <laughs> I am just tired. But then I got to thinking about this song I like from the Mississippi Mass Choir. I'm not tired yet. I've been working for Jesus for a long time. I'm not tired yet. I've been running for Jesus for a long time. I'm not tired yet. I've been singing. I've been running. And I'm not tired yet. And then my daughter told me, and then I also was reading some scripture too, where I'm up there thinking just because everybody fighting against me, that doesn't mean that I'm wrong. And it doesn't mean that I'm supposed to give up the fight. Because, you know, the good Lord haven't given up the fight on this world yet. Especially, you know, every day you turn around looks like somebody's doing something and somebody that you just couldn't even imagine is happening so people turning their back on me and turning their cheek on me that's not as bad as when my brother got killed I lost both of my brothers y'all to gun violence I had two brothers Sammy and Ronnie I have never grieved Ronnie I'm still grieving Sammy but Kira was telling me the other day she said you think you tired Think about what your mama went through. And when I think about my mother, my thoughts go towards heaven. Because if Ma was tired, and she never said she was tired, but if my mama was tired of us, just imagine how God is, how tired he is of all of us. For me and my sin, for the lies I've told, for the bad things I've harbored in my heart. And he still let me live. He still let me walk around here. He still allows me to breathe. And that's because his love. Is that agape love is unconditional. Everything that I've done wrong. He has forgotten about it. And although I have thrown. All of the bad stuff that people do to me. Into that ocean. I keep going back to get it to reclaim why they don't agree with me or why they don't see things the way that I see them. But I had to let all that stuff go, y'all. I don't feel good. I, one of my nephews is in dire straits and he can't help himself and seems like all I did Thursday was scream and scream and call and text and None of his sisters and brothers would reply. It was his sister-in-law and it was my brother-in-law and my daughter and other people who helped. But not the folks that I figured should be doing what they needed to do. And when I went to bed the early Friday morning before day thinking that everything had been resolved. the ne And telling my sister, you don't go nowhere. You don't make a move without me because I'm going to help you. She thinks that she's all by herself and she can't call me. So we go looking for my nephew the next day. He's at another hospital. Don't nobody know where he <laughs> And I just lost my mind, y'all. I lost it. I lost it. I lost it. Hallelujah. I lost it. So, <laughs> as the good Lord does, he... Open that door and when things calm down, phone call came to me. I'm just seeing this now for myself. Anybody else wasn't available for that call, but God meant for me to get the call and know that everything was all right and know how to proceed with what we need to do. And so after that, I just, uh, 
I pulled myself out of the, the, the circle for communicating with anybody in the family. Friday night, Saturday, Saturday night, and all day Sunday. The only people I communicated with were the little, two little boys uh, that I babysit and um, Lala and Anthony. I didn't even talk to Kira and Lolly until Sunday afternoon when they came for dinner. I just had to pull myself out. And even though this thing is far from over, I can't get tired. I'm going to keep running for Jesus. <laughs> I'm going to keep running for my family. And I'm going to keep running for what's right. I'm recording this with the picture of some of my family on the screen. That's only a small portion of us. But that is me, one of my sisters, and their children and grandchildren. And if I don't do what my mother would have done, then nobody else is going to do it and these things have to be done. Right now I'm in the process of a, um, a family tree, a book that I'm going to give to the oldest of each sister, my daughter my nephew and my other sister's child and plus to my sisters to let them know about their family. And maybe if they know more about who we are, then they'll feel better about who they are. And I want them first of all to know who they are in Christ because I know that took a long time for me to get. So I just wanted to come on here to say I'm not I will faint not <laughs> I, I might want to be tired in my mind and tired in my body but I got to keep on pushing and I want to say the same thing to any of you out there if you feel like I do you get overwhelmed and you feel beat down don't don't let it get to you Keep running for Jesus. Keep running for what we have to do. Galatians chapter 6 verse 9 says, And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Psalms 126 verse 5 They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. I don't need any material reward or provision. What I need is for everybody in my family to be spiritually sound. Spiritually bound up in Jesus. Not in the world. Because I've been out in the world and I know the world ain't got us nothing. Nothing. So anyway. I don't want to get tired. I don't want you to be tired. For in good season. In due season. We will reap. If we faint not. All right, saints, I love everybody, everybody, even people I want to hate. The man that killed my brother, I don't even hate him. I love you all. If God made you, I love you. <laughs>